Hi, I'm Phil Rupp from Pika Technology. I'm part of the automotive support team. So today we're going to talk about the TA167, um, basically because it's got um, an unusual button configuration for turning on. Um, and we just want to clarify how we turn it on and, and how it turns itself off and all sorts of things. So, um, every current clamp, we always have to make sure that when we use the current clamp, we close the jaw. And that we have the current clamp around our breakout lead and the jaw is always closed. On the side of the current clamp, we always have a rotational marker on any of the current clamps to tell us which way to position it. So, BNC connector, so we plug this onto our scope as normal. So, this is the interesting bit, that we have a button here. So we're going to turn the um, clamp on. And here, you will see that we've got a green light. Now, what will happen is, in 20 minutes time, that will turn off. So just remember when you're testing components and doing things, there's two settings to this clamp. So that will turn off in 20 minutes. If we turn this off again and hold the button and do that, you will now see that the light is red. That will stay on until the battery decides to die. So just remember um, with our older current clamps, we have to remember to turn the current clamp off when we use it. Now, what we're gonna do is also explain where the battery is, because the battery is actually in this panel. So if we look at this one that we pulled apart earlier, you'll see that we have a screw on the back. Most people undo that, expecting the battery to be there, but actually the battery is there. So we just remove the front fascia panel and it's there. So, five golden rules with current clamps. Um, check the battery has got power in. Turn it on and remember to turn it off. Um, place the current clamp around the wire and close the jaws. And also, always acclimatise the current clamp to the environment that you're working in um, 15 minutes before using. If you have interference on the reading, then you can use filtering, which is in the software. So, you know, we have all of the selection of current clamps here. We have the 2060, we have the 30 amp clamp, and we have the 2000 amps clamp for doing all of the testing on all of vehicles. So, a selection of the current clamps that we do, and a little bit of um, explanation about the TA167, and what happens, how to turn it on, how to turn it off, uh, and all the normal things, which is in the user guide. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, again, we have got the software that you can use it in Pico Diagnostics or in PicoScope. Um, please use it and uh, happy scoping.